Well, we're changing. The seasons are changing. The weather has, has shifted. And uh, we've got a lot of changes in our business that we want to talk to you about. Let's go do it. Hi, I'm John, and this is Bob Don. Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. expression like lizards in the sun like a lizard in the sun yeah we got that this expression is how I too feel like now <laughs> we're back on uh, our park next door and uh, we kind of breathe after a full week of a lot of stuff going on man it, it ended up being a really really busy week uh, I don't a know good, why that surprises a, me but, but it a does. good week I mean yeah. busy week but a good good week um, so let's see uh, we have four hood, and um, mm -hmm. that was an amazing experience. Tell us a little bit about what what happens at Fort Hood for the people who hadn't seen the previous. You know, episodes. first of all, let's define what this is. It's uh, the member members, uh, not only members, uh, uh, for the Inner Loop Photography Club are going to Fort Hood, and they have been there for what? Uh, oh, eight? many years. Yes. many years. Yeah, um, and photograph military families and give them um, an opportunity to, to create some memories of, mm -hmm. of themselves because uh, most often they were um, gone, uh, some members of the family are gone and uh, um, most of them are men. But there are women as well that yeah. go uh, away. But let's let's get let's backtrack to to what memories mean. We uh, the the club goes there and and takes pictures of families okay. of, of military yeah. families, and uh, for many of them, young families they don't make much money. This may be the first time they've had a family. Oh, photo. and I had a lot of people saying over and over again, you know, this is my first time. Yeah. Imagine that, yeah, because I mean, it used to be a thing. You would go to some photo professional photographer and have your wedding pictures, obviously, but then, you know, when you have your first baby and your anniversary pictures and when the kids are growing up, that just doesn't happen anymore. And they were so uncomfortable. It's like, you know, we haven't done this before and how shall we stay? And uh, is this good? It's, it's a lot of fun to, to just, uh, you know, direct them how to, how to do it and mm -hmm. look cute together. Some come with no idea, but there were some that were really opinionated. Come and say, I want this, 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 and this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, you know, they have seen the internet is so vast now. They know, they have a clear idea what they want and what they keep and what, right. what would be good for them. So it's a, it's a <clears throat> beautiful service doing a wonderful thing for people who've given a lot for us uh, in the military. Uh, but, uh, I mean, as far as, as you're concerned, being a photographer, I didn't go. I stayed and kept the studio open on uh, last Saturday. But uh, how do you, as a photographer, do you benefit from this? Oh, yeah, on many levels. First of all, it's the feel-good thing. That, yeah, that, there's that. That, that you, you make somebody happy and, and they are so appreciative. And it happened to me, you know, people opened the studio door mm -hmm. because they finished with me. I said, oh, my God, this was amazing it's like uh, it's That's like uh, it, it, it fill up your heart mm -hmm. and then um, as a photographer you mm -hmm. know i don't get to do a lot of portrait photography because yeah. i do most fine art photography but i love working with people that receptive people that love to have this uh, uh, studio pictures and even even if you were a professional photographer you wouldn't get 300 people in a weekend more than likely no and you would have probably a half an hour in between a family to to rest and to give the brain a rest to, to think of the next uh, client but uh, it's like at, a factory at, at, at four <laughs> four days uh, when we go there for uh, one day half a day it's for setting up on the next three days are uh, full one after another families there's uh, 15 sometimes 20 minutes uh, session because you know most often we work with a lot of kids and they are you know kids uh, mm -hmm. very hard to work with some are babies and uh, you're gonna have to wait for them to calm down to get right, used to you right. and then and you learn these things you know uh, right and that's the skills you probably wouldn't be, pick uh, up otherwise and, and yeah. it's funny because you you see the parents panicking that the, the baby doesn't stay and 
uh, and I am like, you guys, come down. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk with each other. Let's know each other better. Leave the babies alone. Mm -hmm. They would get used to me, and then we'll take the picture. Yeah, and they are amazed. Every it's working in every single case. And and that's that's a skill you would not get in any other way than Correct. to just go through it. Correct. And and I would I would imagine not only is there the the photography bit, but there's the staging and the lighting and the you know how do you build a relationship with these people uh, that you want to come through the photo. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful skill to and, learn. And it's, and it's quick. There is, mm -hmm. you can't just, let's take a break, let's think of other posing. There's no time for posing. You, you, you're gonna have, when they enter on the door, your brain should make the posts, mm -hmm. the, the settings, you know, how yeah. do I want them? Because there's no time. And the kids are getting used to you mm -hmm. for two seconds. And it's not just kids, animals as well. Yeah. For two seconds. If you miss those two seconds, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great skill. So I'm delighted that you were able to do it again. But again, I want to share with you guys now the, the whole journey oh, yeah. I've been through. <laughs> Y'all, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon. I'm uh, all packed for Fort Hood. The car is filled with uh, wires and lights and cameras and tripods, you, you name it. And I'm looking forward to this trip. So uh, tomorrow morning, Thursday, I will be heading to Fort Hood and I will keep you um, up to date. Okay, I just got the four hood and now I'm going to the welcome center to get my paperwork in, uh, in order and then from there straight to the USO base to unload the car and uh, uh, put together the studio. So that's done, just came back, I got my pass Ooh and I'm going now to the uh, gate. Just finished setting up the studio here at USO for Hood. Everything is set up and ready to go. Now let's see what others do and uh, what's the progress over there. Our second day at Fort Hood started with a visit to the fly simulation facility. This was not only a treat from the USO for our club members, but also a way to show us a slice of day-to-day -day training of our servicemen and women. We all enjoy the experience immensely and want to thank the USO for the opportunity. Afterwards, we all regrouped and started the actual family photo shoots. Here are some highlights of the following days.
My name is uh, Michael Cabrera. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and you know, this is important to me because this is uh, our first set of family pictures with my family, um, and it was really nice, you know, that the U.S. offered this. Master Sergeant Wesley Wilcox, this is my wife Deborah. Um, we really appreciate the program that you're uh, putting together for us. We don't always get time to to go out and research and locate places to take family photos, so it's a good opportunity for us to take 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 care of that. Patton, um, active duty Air Force, um, and this is my girlfriend, Jessica Rivera. <laughs> um, I think this is an awesome experience that you guys are able to come and do this. Um, a lot of people, for one, may not have the financial aspect to do this, or they just may not actually have the time to do this. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to, as service members to actually come and do this and take pictures as a family. Cause I was telling her this is, I haven't done pictures in years professionally, so it kind of was refreshing. And it's something that you'll always remember because you're just going to have it in your home. So we're the Cullen family and um, this program means a lot to us because we haven't had family pictures done in two years, I think. So it's a really good opportunity for us to get updated pictures of our family and um, just a really good way to give back to the military community. I'm Emily Demo. I'm currently serving active duty Army. This is my husband, Michael Begor's prior service. This is our first family photo we've ever done together. Our little girl's four years old. Um, so to be able to cherish these memories for the rest of our life means a lot that um, the USO has partnered to together to give this to us today. Completely agree. Uh, my name is Devon Hill. Uh, I'm a soldier here at Fort Hood. Just got here less than a year ago. And I think this USO program is really helpful for uh, families to take pictures for the holidays. <laughs> I'm Casey Stewart and this is Nathan Stewart and we've been here for a year and we're from Alabama and we love the USO experience and the photo shoots are amazing y'all should get them done from here. We want to do holiday cards and it would be a really really cute experience and just hang up hang them up in our house. <laughs> um, we are the Thompson family and it is such a um, great experience to be able to come to the USO and take photos during Christmas time. We're going to use them for Christmas photos and we just appreciate um, this opportunity. Yeah. Good. That is a magic necklace. Adrian! <laughs> My name is Master Sergeant Madhu, and this is my beautiful wife, Anastasia Anas. Madhu. And uh, this, uh, we've been to Fort Hood about a year now, and this is the first time we participated in the MWR photo shoot. It's a great joy to be here and take advantage of the opportunity and the services the Fort Hood provide as well as the MWR to take a family portrait for us. I think it's a good idea um, for families to look back and remember 
um, the memories of being around here in Fort Hood and we appreciate everything that you guys are doing and we um, say good good job and continue what you're doing. So yes, again, well done. It's, well done. it's fabulous, a fabulous experience uh, altogether. And uh, at the end, I want to thank everybody again who helped me get there this year. Uh, it was a, um, a financial kind of uh, hiccup, if, we, if you want yeah. me. So I had to do a little GoFundMe and uh, I had a lot of people um, jumping in and help me uh, get there and do this. Uh, phenomenally amazing how, how kind people are thank you guys very much thank you yeah so other than that uh, let's see I stayed home uh, this week uh, that last weekend this weekend I had the uh, zine fest Houston and uh, we actually had a, uh, a visitor uh, we have uh, uh, Patricia Gomez who is here from Spain visiting some friends and family of hers and she came along with me and uh, we tabled yesterday at the Zine Fest Houston. Nice crowd, beautiful weather like today. It was chilly but not, not creepy and uh, nice crowd. Uh, I'm I glad. Thought it, I thought it was really good. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased doing those things. You know, they don't bring in all that much money. I guess I made maybe 150 bucks. But it's actually a great publicity uh, on the long run. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's not my thing and I'm, I'm really grateful that you you have the the, the uh, pleasure, not a pleasure, but the, yeah, the, yeah. the curiosity uh, in being involved with the uh, uh, zine uh, uh, culture. And, and yeah, and and if you don't know what zines are, it's short for magazine. It's this this movement of independent publishers who uh, do everything from creating their own books to magazines to to comic books, to graphic novels, just to fine art, photography, it's all kinds of things. There's a lady there who does poetry uh, on a typewriter while oh, really? you wait. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you know, I think I remember her. Yeah, for she's been at, years she's ago. at all of them. And so there's this kind of subculture thing going on. It's usually very young, it's very trendy. A lot of professory type folks are there as well. People who would never come through our studio doors and, and yet they know us and, and recognize me from last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's a good thing. I'm glad we did it. And I think Patricia had a good time. Uh, it's a, a completely new experience for her, uh, having never done one here in the States. So. And we do, we do have this uh, brochure magazine and everything that John uh, presents to this uh, event in the studio so if you yeah. guys uh, have uh, the curiosity to to look through uh, through them uh, come join us you can even check online uh, amazon.com we have some of our publications uh, some of our books do some children's books uh, so check it out it's been a lot of fun these are for uh, one of the pictures for the Nature Remember. I'm gonna combine them with uh, one of those porcelain figurines and see where it goes. The cords are amazing, they're so big. They're super cool. Acorns. Are you calling them corn? I'm calling them corn. These are very nice, I love the day, it's fantastic. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. I think we've lived here for like seven years and we never came here. 
Well, because we are busy making money. Ha <laughs> ha. What else? So you've been not only staying home uh, on those days I would be away from Fort Hood, but you worked on um, the foundation, right? Yeah, I, I did take the time when you were uh, away to really concentrate on building kind of the, the first blush of what a, a nonprofit would look like as we have it envisioned. And we, I was doing that because we had this great opportunity to meet with uh, Nicole Miner, mm -hmm. who is the founder and CEO of um, Pangea Network. And the Pangea Network uh, is run out of the Woodlands, Texas, and she has a, a two-country format, which I found particularly interesting with what we want to do. And so she has workshops and educational experiences for girls here in Texas, as well as a full-on school in uh, Kenya mm -hmm. and she works in both places and supports both programs so she was kind of the ideal example for us to start building on so I wanted to have everything in line to answer the question she had and and so that I was asking you know legitimate well thought questions so I, I did a lot of planning on on what our non foundation what our foundation our nonprofit uh, would look like uh, and so, yeah, that's that's what I did. I, I'm she, very pleased. She gave us a lot of mm -hmm. uh, good insights and make me feel good. Uh, I, I mean, I know uh, you've been exposed to uh, non-profit uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, organizations. I didn't, and I don't know right. how to eat that with. It's like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm glad. I'm glad she was there just to kind of present and uh, be honest about um, her nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And I, I, it made me feel a lot of, uh, a lot, uh, how to say, uh, um, confident. More confident, a little more relaxed that, that we're in the right atmosphere and we're doing... And you don't have to make money uh, right away. Don't, yeah, right. I, I mean, it, it's a process and uh, you, the nonprofit will be there mostly to help other people. Right. And so the very nub of what it is we're, we're considering is to have a nonprofit that functions here in Texas uh, or in the States as well as in Romania and the whole idea would be to create educational and financial assistance to artists in Romania to help them learn to run subs uh, sustainable art businesses mm -hmm. and so a lot of people teach art and a lot of te people teach business but nobody really teaches artists how to become business yeah, people. and how to reach to markets uh, right because um, we've been through a long journey and learning and still learning mm -hmm. about all this and I think it's it's such a need for others to to, to learn how to do it and to reach mm -hmm. out there and sell their uh, their art and and all the all the kind of pitfalls you can miss if you ask the right questions up front we have to learn the hard way and I think most of us most artists have had to do that not to say you won't make mistakes but you if, if we can hedge off some of the most common mistakes that that people are facing uh, I think it's a great service mm -hmm. uh, plus it, it gives us a lot of feel goods as well so I, I'm, I'm very excited and you're gonna hear a lot more about that as we go if and you've got any experience with nonprofits particularly in two countries like that I'd love to have you comment or get in touch with us uh, because this is the you want to set it up properly you don't want to have to redo it a couple of years in when you actually learn the ropes and it's um, a it's a new learning curve for us as well and it's, it keeps you going you know mm -hmm. it's a, not something new that's that's on the horizon and uh, we'll see where this is gonna get us. Yeah, I don't remember being this excited for a long time, so I'm hoping that this will work out. And Fingers you, crossed. And if you guys um, enjoy what you've seen um, in this episode, please like, subscribe, and uh, push that notification button to get updates from us. Yeah, have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.